headed up 103, very famous uh, as far as uh, Mount Evans. A lot of people that come uh, into the state like to go to Mount Evans, one of our uh, 14ers you can drive the top to. So we're actually in one of those areas where the land mobile radio doesn't uh, work effectively. And uh, a lot of times when we come up to respond on this road, we are cut off in all communications. That's why it's very important that uh, we not only have uh, uh, good, solid communications with land mobile radio today, but it's very important that we have the right data and we have the right uh, communications with uh, long-term evolution so that um, our dispatch center knows where we're at. Other responders uh, responding uh, know where we're at. It's not uncommon to be on a call out on one of these mountain roads, and uh, you may be the only one. Uh, if I'm responding, I may be on this. Uh, I may be on this call five minutes before anybody else, and it would definitely be nice to know where assets are at. Not too long ago, on the other side of uh, Mount Evans, we had a lady who uh, had fallen during a hike. That was one of those cases where we had to come in, and we had to four-wheel drive in eight miles. And uh, once we did that, then we had to walk in another four miles uh, to rescue her and uh, stokes her out. And uh, I can tell you that, uh, you know, for probably an hour, hour and a half, we had literally no communications. And so one of the very keys is that we know FirstNet is going to give us the capacity that we need. It really looks axiomatic from, from the way it's designed. We really feel blind when we come up here because we don't have the kind of coverage that we need. And uh, especially because we're geographically challenged here in the state of Colorado, uh, coverage is key to what we need as public safety uh, and first responders.